I'm a performer, I'm a teacher, I'm a producer. I do many things that involves music, notes, and trying to put them all together. My extended family, nobody fled the country. They all stay strong together, fight, and uh, many uh, uh, cousins in my family, they're doctors, so they are uh, they're fighting for life. So we find ourselves in Fairfax today. We are in the home of Andrei Pitkivka, who is a Ukrainian national and really a tremendous musician. We're thrilled to meet you. Thank you for inviting us over. And, and, and you've won a Grammy. You won a Grammy for producing the score of Chernobyl. <laughs> in Ukraine, uh, in Ukrainian, which is the memory eternal. Uh, when you listen to this, uh, this is the, the project that I did and the, the, it, it won Grammy Award. How personal of a project was that for you, given that Chernobyl is in Ukraine? Well, it is, it is very personal to me because it hit me when I was in my teens. And, uh, you know, when they pro this project came alone, I, um, I was uh, just uh, very humble to, to get this done in the right way. It is very personal to me. Uh, the music is very organic. First of all, the music uh, speaks truth. And we, we decided to do this in a very old uh, cathedral, 17th century cathedral. So basically no editing was done. It's a male choir, 18-piece uh, male choir with very low voices. It was very difficult to find some of these uh, low voices. I think the lowest note was A flat. Ukraine right now is in a, in a war. So we do lots of fundraising events uh, playing across the DC metropolitan area. In fact, we're doing... Uh, and who is we playing? Oh, I'm playing with, uh, with an ensemble called Gerdan. And uh, my wife, Solomia Horochivska, is part of this. In fact, she's uh, the major part of uh, Gerdan. My wife, Solomia Horokivska, we met about uh, 13 years ago. I performed with the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. Uh, it was a kind of a joint a combination of uh, classical and folk. I would imagine, like most married couples, you all complement each other, not only in marriage and life, but in music as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm his guitar when we play together. <laughs> okay. I'm his guitar on the violin, because violin, uh, usually it's a melodic instrument in the same way as flute. play uh, embassy series. In fact, last week we played One Journey uh, Folk Festival by the National Cathedral. Tomorrow we're playing uh, in Maryland. Um, so what you have set up here, all Ukrainian? All Ukrainian flutes, all Ukrainian flutes. Some of the Slovaks that they use, this is Fujara. Fujara. Uh, this is Fujara, this is fascinating. From Slovakia, fascinating instrument that yeah. is probably the tallest flute in, in uh, Eastern Europe. That's the Ukrainian National this Anthem. This is the Ukrainian National Anthem. That's his ringtone. You know, they're, uh, right now kids are going to grow up, we're going to teach them music, so I hope they can travel with us and see the country. The music is magnificent. Our hearts break for what's happening in your home country, but we're so glad that you're able to share this piece of it with, with America and with folks all across our country. Thanks so much for talking with us about this. Thank you. Thank you for Thank coming you for and come us. over again. We will play more music for you. Man, I would like to come back. I just want to hear some more flute music. I just want to say I love how much he is able to personalize his creative journey. A lot of us artists hope to uh, be able to connect the dots between what's going in on inside of us emotionally and what we express out into the world. And not only him, uh, his ability to play traditional instruments from the Ukraine, but his inclusion with Chernobyl that he was personally involved with and influenced by and affected by is really incredible. By the way, the idea uh, for this story came from our own digital editor, Elena, and your idea could be next. So tell us who's doing amazing things in your community. They could be in our next mic'd up. And by the way, you can reach out to Adam at alongo at wsa9.com.